Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about Ansu Fati and Elix Moriba. There has been many reports that Ansu Fati is going to be making a return to FC Barcelona very, very soon after the international break. And then we're also going to be talking about Elix Moriba. Elix Moriba is a player that Barcelona do want to sell. Elix Moriba has also been having a lot of trouble on trying to move away from this club. And so there are complications regarding this player. So we are going to be talking about Elix Moriba first. So yesterday it was basically confirmed confirmed that there is interest coming from Leipzig and the only thing that Leipzig has to do is that Leipzig will need to sell Sabitzer for 10 million euros to Bayern Munich because Leipzig believed that if they were to sell Sabitzer for 10 million euros that would fund the transfer of Elix Moriba that is the plan that Leipzig do want to do but now it's starting to seem like Leipzig are going to have to sell even more players or demand a higher fee for Sabitzer if they do want to have a chance to sign Elix Moriba because a report has surfaced that as of today Day, Leipzig and Barcelona are still very far apart in terms of the negotiations where they do stand. Barcelona are demanding a certain fee while Leipzig are demanding a different fee. And so it says here according to Ferran Martinez, the position between Leipzig and FC Barcelona is still very distant for Elix Moriba. Leipzig are ready to offer 6 million euros but Barcelona are asking for 20 million euros. Barcelona have also made it very clear that because they are so immovable, because they want to be inflexible within these negotiations, if Elix Moriba does end up staying at Barcelona, Barcelona is going to be sending Moriba to the stands and not play a single minute wearing the Barcelona shirt. Even if Leipzig sell their player for 10 million euros, they're going to have to find another 10 million euros more to bring in Moriba. And I do believe that Leipzig's goal is to not spend a single dime on this transfer, which is why they're only offering 6 million euros after trying to sell Sabister for 10. But Barcelona are standing very strong in this operation. And again, they have made it very clear that if they cannot sell Moriba for 20 million euros, then Moriba will be staying at the Camp Nou. And the only reason why Moriba would be in the stands and not playing a single minute, it is because Barcelona assume that Moriba will not be renewing with this club. If Moriba ends up renewing, of course, he's going to be back into the plans of Ronald Koeman. So if Moriba's agents say, okay, fine, let's accept this renewal because we want our player to play because his value is going to go higher. And I do think that there's going to be a better investment in the long term. If we have Moriba renew the contract right now, it would just make much more sense. So if that does end up happening, Barcelona will place Moriba back into the plans. It's very, very simple. And let me tell you guys, once Moriba is back in that pitch playing at the Camp Nou, I do have a feeling that even he will have that sensation at the Camp Nou where the environment is going to be very different, where they are going to be feeling that tension towards the player. And here's the thing that I really do want to clear out, right? The fact that Moriba has no say in these negotiations, right? Many are saying Moriba has nothing to do with these negotiations. He's not the one saying that he wants to leave FC Barcelona because he's not receiving the wage that he should be receiving even if he's not saying anything not saying anything is another form of speaking if Moriba really wants to just play for Barcelona and play for whatever amount and enjoy his football then he should speak out to the agents because we have to remember the agents are there for the players best interest if Moriba says I just want to play I just want to make this as simple as possible I want to play in Barcelona if that proposal is the last proposal let's accept it let's do it because I want to be back into playing football like what I am supposed to be doing if he says that that's going to be great. And so it says here, according to Ferran Martinez, that Moriba is upset with the club around the renewal situation and finds the treatment he has been receiving very disrespectful, which I do understand, right? It's very understandable. There is tension going on between the Barcelona fans and Elix Moriba. But like I have said before, please speak out. If Moriba wants to save his career and wants to continue to be one of the best players that has came through this academy and be very successful in the first team, then actually speak out to the agents and the club. And now moving on towards the last topic of today, and we are going to be talking about Ansu Fati. Now, this one gets me very excited, right? Every time we do talk about the return of Ansu Fati, it gets so many people, not, e not even just me, but so many people excited because we want to see Ansu Fati back on the pitch, the player who has been known to be the next big thing for this Barcelona team. And there were so many moments last season where we greatly did miss Ansu Fati. There were moments where we were saying, man, if only we had Ansu Fati on the left flank where Messi could have passed it to, we would have brought in much better results. And now, now, and now that we are in this current season, now that we have Memphis Depay who is killing it on the pitch, we want to see a duo of Ansu Fati and Memphis Depay. How great is that going to be? And the only reason why I push this agenda of Memphis Depay and Ansu Fati playing with each other, it is because these are two players who can be very comfortable on taking each other's positions. Ansu Fati can shift to the left, Depay can also shift to the left and to the center. It's going to be a very flexible front three. So four days ago, it was announced coming from Javi Miguel that Ter Stegen and Ansu Fati may be 
available for the game against Sevilla after the national team break is over. And many of us at that moment were saying, let's just wait until we get more confirmation. Let's get closer to the international break. Maybe we might find something else new because Ansu Fati and Ter are still going to have to find their fitness and be in that match rhythm. Well, now it does say here, according to Luis Rojo, that Ansu Fati is expected to return and be fit for the game against Sevilla. So it is 99% confirmed that this is going to go through, that Ansu Fati will be fit and in time for this game against Sevilla. But here is going to be the biggest question that I do want to ask you guys, right? Do you actually see Ansu Fati starting in this game against Sevilla, right? Because I do think that when it comes to this player, Kuman is only going to be seeing Ansu as a option, right? As another solution, not a mandatory player that's going to have to play in that match. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because Sevilla right now is a very compact, a very well defended and intense team. They're currently first in La Liga and they have not allowed a single goal in the league so far. So Sevilla is a very tough opponent to go up against. And do we really want to place Ansu Fati in a game such as that? In a game where it is very intense, in a game where Barcelona is going to have to press, is going to have to make a lot of runs. Could we actually expect that from Ansu Fati? That is going to be my biggest question. Are we going to be getting the best version of Ansu and is he going to be in match rhythm? Because look, this game against Sevilla, it's going to be a very important game. It's going to be a game that many of us do want to win because we have already lost points against Athletic Club and we do not want to lose points against Sevilla. We have to show our best display and bringing Ansu in that starting 11, is that going to bring the best display for Barcelona? All of this is really going to be depending on just how fit Ansu actually is. And so in these next three weeks, I would like to see more and more involvement on Ansu Fati being involved within the group training sessions. Maybe throughout that international break, he can train with the players that did not go to their international duties and just see how it goes from there. How does he react in very tense, high stake situations where he does have to move very quickly. But that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona daily news. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.